Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. We have just finished up beating Cooper Brothers Fortress and finished off the first chapter. So, uh, well, I can use Bomb Mat here to destroy this little cracked wall and get into this pipe to see what's behind it. And we go up here to get, um, let's see, it's, I think it's some kind of badge. Let's see what it is. Hey, it's the FB Plus badge. Increases maximum FP by 5. Uh, you may remember we also got the FP plus badge, or not FP, but HP plus badge a while ago, so it does pretty much the same thing. Alright, now we can, uh, just head on out. So, oh crap. Alright, I just ran away from that, because I really didn't feel like dealing with them. I'm, I'm just gonna avoid the enemies on the way back, there's no real need to, uh, uh actually fight them. Like, the 2, uh, SP isn't really worth it in my opinion. Whoa, that was close. Alright, so let's head on back through here. And just keep making our way back to the left. Go back in here again. We can also recover up. I think I took one point of damage, so... There we go. <laughs> back to 15. Okay, there's there's also one more thing I wanted to show. I got a lot of comments about this, and uh, I, I knew there was something about these boxes, but uh, it just didn't come to mind right off the top of my head. So if we hit them in the right order... Oh, there we go and this little red box appears, you can hit it to get the Attack FX B badge, which changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Uh, we might have seen that there was a, an, an Attack FX A badge that we could buy up at uh, Mer Lovely's place. Uh, I don't remember the kid's name, but whatever. We could buy it from him. So, um, might as well just go ahead and equip it. It actually doesn't take any FP. We can scroll down here and we can see it takes zero, so let's just go ahead and equip it, and whenever you hit, like, something with a hammer, you get that sound, which is really stupid, but I might as well at least have one battle with it on. I'll probably immediately take it off afterwards, but... Oh, yeah, there's also this down here that we couldn't get the first time through. Uh, so we can come down here, and now that we have Cooper, we can pick up the star piece. There we are. And I'm actually going to take Bomb Ed out again. Uh, for something later, assuming I'm thinking correctly, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Whoa. Okay, so let's continue on, keep going, keep going. Hold it right there, Mario, I've been waiting for you. What? Oh hey, it's the little egg dude again. I told you I'd be back, now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby, check this out. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Oh, he's climbing back up. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different from before. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge you? He's gotta be kidding. Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me. Uh, who are you again? What? Darn it! You don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug. My name is Junior Trooper. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Yeah, it looks like we kind of hit a nerve there. Ah, it's always fun to play with that kid. Get ready to hurt, Mario. I'm going to show you a new skill I just picked up. Uh-oh. He goes into a shell. That's his new skill. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Yeah, so basically all that does, if I'm remembering correctly, is give him a defense power of one. So, uh, power jump. <laughs> there we go. We got that stupid sound effect. Yo, who knew the Mario has his battle skills? Grr, it's not over yet, though. And that's also why I had Bombette out, because Bomb actually works pretty well on this guy, too. Nice forward damage there. Oh, looks like he's picked up his attack power by one, too. Didn't expect him to jump that fast, or else I would have blocked it. I haven't done this battle in a while, so... <laughs> it's not like he's really any threat to beat me here. Alright, let's get this over with now. Come on. Oh, I was early on that one. Yeah, who cares? Okay, so we have just enough for one more power jump and one more bomb. So, uh, oh, well, the power jump did it. See? <laughs> Incredibly easy. It's really hard to lose, but uh, Junior Troopa, we're going to be fighting him multiple times throughout the game. He does actually pick up near the end, so um, pick up in difficulty, that is. Anyway, we can talk to him again. Uh, we can also hit him with a hammer if we want. Uh, and then bomb him if we want. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> give him a little bit of torture after he's dead, but there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to take this stupid sound effects badge off. Ah, there we go. Back to normal. Okay, so, well, that takes care of that. Let's head back into Toad Town now. And, of course, just in time, Mario! We're going to get interrupted by Twink. So just as we get back into the town, he's going to tell us where we need to go next, in pretty convenient timing if you ask me, but, well, there you go. 
So, I heard you say the Honorable Starth Beard was captured by Koopa Brothers. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. <laughs> Mario's like, yep, that was me. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in the dry, dry desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary. Princess braved the dangers of the castle. Oh, yeah, that was so dangerous. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. So, basically, that's uh, how we know where to go next. So, uh, you know, whoop de doo Twink tells us what to do. Okay, so now, actually, we're going to get stopped by this kid here. Hey, mister, my dad's opened a shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. So, we remember, we stopped by these guys earlier in our little introduction. So, uh, they have lots of rare badges. Take a very close look. And they do have some pretty good badges around here. The problem is they're really expensive. As you can see, 75, 75, and 100. So, we can only buy one of these if we're going to. Uh, D down pound, multi bounce, that can be pretty cool. It jumps on all enemies in a row. Uh, it's basically like power bounce, except you keep moving on to the next one each time. And uh, first attack lets Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. Actually, I think I'm gonna hold off on all of these, because, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to. So, th he'll rotate his badges periodically. We'll come back later to see if he has anything. Um, okay, while we're here, we might as well check out the post office. It's kind of looming back there, haunting me, so I'm sure we've got some new letters by now. Alright, what have we got? Well, seems you received some mail. Which letter would you like to read? Got one for Cooper now, from Colorado's wife. There you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so something to look forward to. Happy to see my husband. Please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. So, no. <laughs> These are kind of useless, but, ah, well, might as well read them anyway, right? So with that, we there's not really a whole lot new we can do in Toad Town. Uh, if we want, we can go over here, actually, and I believe... Yeah, the dojo here is open now. I'm not really going to do any of this yet. I probably will later, but uh, I kind of want to just do it all in one sweep. As you can see, the two guys are up here, and this is the master. Uh, so let's just go ahead and talk to him. Most well, Mario, welcome to my dojo, and the master... Cough, hat, cough. Please. <laughs> Please pardon me, my health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve body and mind. Looks like your body can use a little bit of improvement there. So we can challenge him. What business do you have here today? Uh, we're just dropping in. Very well. Okay, so we can head out of there. Like I said, I'm going to be doing that later. Uh, but I, I don't... I'm not leveled enough to take care of the entire thing in one swoop yet. So uh, I'm, I'm going to come back whenever I can. So now we actually want to head on to the south, and this is a part of Toad Town that we haven't seen before. I think all this stuff was actually blocking off the road before, I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, we couldn't get to it before. Oh, there's a little toad. Man, he's really small. When I grow up, I'm going to learn to be a train conductor. Train conductors are so cool. Station stop, all aboard. Yeah, that's actually kind of a clue as to where we need to be going next, but we'll get into that. Uh, there's this building here, which can actually be pretty useful. Uh, it's got this woman in it. It's got her own little music, which is kind of cool. Oh my goodness, it's Mario. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me ingredients, I'd be happy to fix you one of my energy-giving dishes. Would you like me to cook you something? Yeah, sure. Why not? So, which ingredient would you like me to use? So, I've got all this stuff here. Uh, let's give her a mushroom. That's pretty simple, right? Then I shall cook with mushroom. That's... Cook with a mushroom. Ah, whatever. I'm not... She didn't claim to be good in English, so... She'll whip something special up for us. She's gonna come back here and cook. Tra la 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 And when we come back, here you are! This recipe's not too bad here, please! And we get the fried shroom, which restores 6 FP and 2 FP, so... You know, it kind of, uh... It kind of, like, increases the item's, uh... Effectiveness a little bit. I'm not really gonna be spending too much time with that, though. Uh, we can come back later, though, and something else will happen with that. Um, also, if we want, there's sort of a little optional thing we can do. Private. Okay. <laughs> Great sign. That's really, uh, worth reading. Uh, but actually, we can go down this pipe here, and we'll end up in the, uh, in the sewers, actually. So I'm gonna switch back to Gumbario here. As you can see, there's kind of this boarded-up thing here. There's a gray block, which we can't do anything with. So there's a bunch of stuff we're gonna have to come back for later. Uh, but if I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, we can destroy this block here and actually go to, uh, this section first. As you can see, we have a new Goomba guy here. None of this stuff is really required, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. You know, might as well. So, these guys have a little more HP than the normal Goombas. So let's go ahead and tattle just for the heck of it. So, this is a Gloomba. They're nasty Goombas who live in Toad Town Tunnels. They have 7 HP and 2 attack power. They're stronger than ordinary Goombas, but you can take them. Sure thing. 
So, like he said, they are a little bit stronger. They actually have quite a bit of HP, considering what we've faced so far. You know, seven, that's even more than the Cooper Brothers had individually, so... <laughs> You know, it's going to take a few turns to actually deal with these guys. But, um, and they can act, they can also pretty much get through your blocking with one damage still. So it might be a good idea not to, um, to not be stingy with, like, your power jumps and stuff. Now let's actually go ahead and use one on this guy back here, get a nice four damage in. And Goombario will finish off this one. So we block him, our HP is actually getting a little bit low, I'm kind of surprised. I don't remember these guys being that strong, but I guess uh, I guess they are. So, Gamario, just go ahead and finish these guys off, don't worry about hitting the action command. And there we go, we get a nice little stock of SP for it, actually we get 8 star points, so that's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, it looks like we're about out of time, so in the next part we'll continue forward in the, in the sewers here and see what we can uh, discover. So, till then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.